we get ready with our heatless stone now to uh, trim off we're going to trim off uh, the upper part of the sprue once we have cut once we have cut the sprue off uh, the post core off the sprue and this is the procedure I use a heatless stone I tend to hold it with a hemostat because uh, it gets really hot I keep the shape of the original post core that uh, the doctor has sent in and I look at the contour and make sure that uh, it will present no undercut and the surface uh, will not be edgy because edges uh, can be stressful for frameworks that will be seated on top of this post core in the future okay so uh, what has been done for this post core will be done also for the next one and uh, okay we have uh, taken off and done most of the job with this heathless stone here as you can see Most of the job has been done. And the next step will be with a non contaminating grinding stone. I will be taking off the, the next. Here we are. There are no bubbles. I have looked inside. Uh, inside this core there's no bubbles so I have to do nothing actually there and uh, this is uh, what we do with the heatless stone okay we <clears throat> have taken off uh, excess um, of spruing channel what was left from the spruing channel now uh, we can proceed with refining these post cores uh, concerning this post core that must fit the model which it did as soon as this was cut uh, there will be some uh, uh, some more attention for it because uh, through the use of uh, of my uh, binoculars uh, I will have to uh, smooth out all the area the marginal area and uh, and I will see for extra imperfections that I could not see with my uh, with my naked eye and uh, and then uh, once it's smooth uh, it will be clean in an ultrasonic and then uh, my wife will be delivering it to the dental office and doing the paperwork because uh, it's just not a matter of technical aspect but there's also uh, a matter of uh, certification behind uh, each medical device because these are called in Europe um, um, individual medical devices uh, since they fit individual patients and uh, there will be uh, a whole bunch of certification uh, matters and uh, requirements that must be met and uh, brought on uh, on paperwork. So uh, let's go through this now and uh, let's see how I will smooth out. I'll be showing just uh, just the, the beginning of it, and uh, I won't be too uh, too much on this matter. So I use a cylinder type of a stone because uh, I want to clean out all undercuts, as you see. And you can see how the surface is smoothing out now. And this will be done until it's completely smooth. Uh, I use a, a medium type of speed when I get this done. It takes a little bit of time, but it's worth it to be doing things uh, the right way. You might need to go one step further, but 
it's worth it at the end. You have to take care of problems later on. Uh, it's pretty stressful. Okay. So uh, this will go on and uh, I will finish the work and then show you the next step. Okay. Um, my post cores have been uh, refined both of them but what I really like to show you is under a lens how this uh, how this post core does fit I don't know if we can see it um, but uh, we do have a nice margin ceiling here and we can say I can say that I'm satisfied uh, with this casting even if it was done with a broken arm using uh, recycled metal because the metal we use is was uh, recycled from uh, um, the casting of a uh, framework which never does use in the induction machine uh, um, used metal recycled metal it's always virgin metal that's used there so uh, this is for uh, containing cost of post cores which do uh, sell uh, very cheap and now next step that will be done we will be putting it inside the ultrasonic for cleaning and then out for the delivering okay my posts now go uh, inside this uh, inside this liquid in uh, my beaker and they come inside my ultrasonic here and it's set to about three minutes of ultrasonic cleaning uh, first inside beaker number one with ammonia ammonia and then beaker number two with distilled water and then ready to uh, to get the uh, after dealing with uh, with ammonia ammonia we uh, we put the beaker now uh, the post inside uh, the distilled water and here we go other three minutes okay now uh, I can set off my, uh, my ultrasonic posts have been cleaned they can be taken off and uh, I just blow air dry them let me see if I can uh, there we go I just air dry them that's it nothing special needs to be done anymore for one and that's for the next now what we do we bring everything in the other room And we set everything ready for delivery. So I will put one post right here, and the other post will be put inside uh, the same container that the doctor sent me. I will take also the working pan. Here we are, and uh, to the secretary. Hello, it's my nice wife. Ci sono da consegnare perno metodo indiretto e perno, which she now will take care of all the rest of it. 
So this was the story with uh, our direct and indirect case of post cores. I hope you enjoyed our video. And any questions, please.